Heidi Ho Traders, video as I promised. Sorry it's a little bit late, but I do my best. Got a couple stocks here today that didn't make it to the patterns watch list. That's because these here don't necessarily offer patterns. I'm looking more at support or resistance bounces based in trending stocks. So let's get started. Uh, for some reason, my chart's on Kinder Morgan. Uh, that's not exactly where I wanted to start. We're going to start with Decker's Outdoors, D-E-C-K, and simply draw a trend line on this beast. Uh, you know, of course, misses some of the activity in uh, late January, but for the most part, a good trend line here. Use your moving average as well. The moving average happens to be acting as a decent support level over the last uh, several bounces. You'll see the stock starting to turn up higher here from $70 a share. Uh, I like the low risk entry here with an exit below 70 or at least below the consolidation over the last five, six days of trading. Next on that list is going to be Cerner, C-E-R-N. And I'm a little bit late on this one. This is the one I had on Monday that didn't make it because I'm kind of a lazy bum. But you can see this stock ticking off of its moving average. Normally the stock goes for an extended run though, so I don't think it's necessarily too late, especially today, you know, closing above its prior high, drawing a resistance level right about here at 56. We closed at 56.30. Volume's picking up a little bit off of the lows here over the last couple days, so I think today still offers a pretty good entry point. Next on that list, DST. DST Systems. I'm a little bit late on this one also. I don't know if I should really apologize here, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's see. Anyway, if you look at this one, I think with the, with the moving average was probably what I was looking at here. But the stock, you can see, consolidated a little bit here at about 75. Bounced off that with the 52-week high on Monday. Uh, kind of slow yesterday, but then a really good follow-up today, up another uh, percent and some change. So still a good trade. Keep an eye on that earnings call, though. Make sure... If you are sending these trades into earnings, you are very careful and you are protected. In fact, that's going to be an upcoming topic is additional ways you can play into an earnings announcement. Next on the list, WCG. I think I talked about this on my watch list for the market cast, and I saw a lot of you were following that or a lot of you were already in trades here. Stock's bouncing up, moving up, up another half percent or so today. Uh, I like the stock to take out its most recent high uh, and continue trending higher, looking at about 95 or so on the next high. What else do I have? Express Scripts, ESRX. Again, recent dip here, as low as 80, starting to turn higher. Keep an eye on earnings coming up, but I like the stock as a support bounce off of old resistance as new support, or you could simply just draw a trend line and connect it that way. Either way you look at it, good support bounce play there. Next, Leap Wireless. Uh, you know, we've been pretty vocal about uh, this group. And this stock here, kind of a range bound stock for the last couple months and then a beautiful breakout today. So I was watching this one for a breakout, but the entry is still pretty timely. There it is, new 52-week high on Leap. Next, someone else brought this one up. This was also on my list, was First American. Let me offer up a support line. I probably should do that a little more recently. There we go. All right, starting to turn higher today. Really like the volume, average implied volatility. is kind of at a high point, so if you are going to buy options, make sure you're going in the money. Next, health. If you missed some of the health stocks I was talking about, uh, this one's still a relatively good entry point. Or you might even be better off waiting for the pullback. I'm a little bit late here. I was watching this one as of Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but looking at this one, maybe a retest at 55 yet to come. Today wasn't exactly a really exciting move. Uh, but for the most part, you have very little downside risk with 55 as an exit. So keep that on your radar. And that'll do it for today. Real short, real sweet, uh, under five minutes as a matter of fact. Uh, some of the other stocks that I had were just way too late. Entry, risk, reward was just terrible. So, you know, there's about a half a dozen or more that you can add to your watch list. Actually, that was more like eight or nine. But uh, as you will, hopefully we have some good ideas here. Hopefully you get into some profitable trades. And uh, hopefully you tell me all about it on the blog. Keep sending your posts there. Appreciate it, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.